How's it going everyone? I'm Aaron Nick and welcome back to Dark Souls 3. I just made it past the first dragon of the game. Um, I'm just exploring uh, Wathric and huh, what's this? Monster ahead, but there's no monsters in here. All right, so the first time I came through here, I actually fell for this trick. It's it's a mimic, I'm, I'm just gonna say that. Yeah, mimic. So I'm gonna climb up these stairs because I'm not gonna fight them because yeah, look at how minimal damage I did to him. So I can't kill that guy right now, so I'm just gonna come back. But on the bright side, I just made a shortcut. Oh, I came through here. These guys. It's like cheating playing this on a west plane. I already know it. Like, which enemy is what. It won't be like that forever, but for now. He is tough. Didn't mean to do that. Fuck. Please. Alright, alright, that's the flash, that's the flash. Boom, baby! Alright, alright, he was a little bit tougher of an enemy. I, I normally can just like, let him go by, but... What's, what's the fun in doing that all the time? Why not get in over my head? But, on the bright side though, I, I'm getting through a lot of the stuff that, um was the quick little like tutorial stuff that really like got me I actually, I'm, gonna go, I'm gonna go up here to because there's a bonfire up here so I'm at the second checkpoint of the area now bonfire sit down relax take a load off and I do have enough souls to level up but I'm just gonna continue on because I'm I'm fairly confident I can take care of it and I'm, I'm really not worried about some of these enemies because I know how to deal with most of them. Okay, and okay, so I was just I was just looking down and um, I forgot that. So this is a point that I've always felt was kind of moot in the Dark Souls games, in the Souls games in general. Um, why do you need to fix your? Why do you need to fix your equipment? I never understood that. It all it actually always kind of bothered me. That like, why does your equipment need to be fixed? I know, I know it's going for realism, but it, it's kind of an all or none deal. Like either your durability goes down like at a decent rate, and it's like it's a prevail it's a prevailing idea that you need to like fix your stuff, or on the other side of things that. You don't, like, in these games, you really, you can go through the whole thing and not worry about it. You, you can get through the entire game and not worry about your durability. Well, and I can get through the whole game and not worry about these guys killing me. But, you know, it, it's not going to happen. I'm just going to get fucked up by them every time. Alright, so this, this is kind of what I was talking about before. Um, when I was fighting the first boss. So, uh... Stop hitting them in once. Try hitting them in once. Okay, so there's that guy in the center. And so what I'm actually going to do is if I don't kill him now, he's going to turn into a bigger threat. Yep, there we go. He kind of oozed out because he was like, he's changing. So you need to run up and kill some of those guys really quick. Otherwise, they become kind of like the first boss was. Hello. Hello, little skitter bug. Give me gems. Give me gems now. All right, I got gems. I got raw gem. So I haven't had a use for um, the raw gems yet. Uh, I really haven't gotten a chance to upgrade stuff. But as always, there. I just want to collect everything I can. Um, and also, um, I am very. I'm not opposed to trying different weapons. Um, in this one, so I'm kind of what I want to kind of do is almost go like hybrid um, right now Where I might upgrade my tank and stuff a little bit and obviously yeah, I Don't want to get over my head okay, There we go Fire 
Carbine. Fire kill. Alright, so I'm almost gonna like... So I might up, like put four souls into upgrading like a sword, like a short sword. Because I already am slightly more comfortable fighting with swords in these games as opposed to the magic idea. And I think that might work out better just for my playstyle. So get a, my plan is to get a sword that I can use and then um, upgrade it to the mount. And I just realized, I completely forgot what I was going to talk about with uh, the durability. Um, the way durability works in this one is that there's little life bars below each weapon. And if you hit it against the wall, durability goes down. Like you can see it going down right now. And that um, it just it recharges when you sit down at the bonfire. So that's a big difference that I noticed in this one. Oh shit, I forgot all about this guy. Be purged by fire. Gotcha. Gotcha, bitch. Be purged by fire. Die by fire. Die by axe. Doesn't matter. As long as you die. And then I and I give them gold. We're a worthy opponent. Not that worthy. Okay, oh, uh, what do I have? Oh okay, yeah, I only have one Estus Blast left. So I have to be kind of careful. Otherwise, I'm not going to be able to get the stuff I'm coming down here for. This is actually a side shoot. So this is like, not necessary, but this is a, uh, this is a good area to go to, to power up. Um, and there's actually a Estus Shard at the end of this. So I'll be able to get one more use of my flask. Which, of flask, I might want to recharge magic powers. That way I can fight some of these guys up here. Because there are some decently tough enemies up here. Um, I was getting... Oh, broadsword. I think that's what I was waiting for. Broadsword sounds like it would be nice. And... I can't use it. Uh, what do I need? I need... Uh, I need two more... Uh, so I need to put a couple points into my my skills. Dexterity, that's what it was. I knew it was like either strength or the, uh, or the other one. I just couldn't think of which one it was. But that, that one was dexterity. This is not a miracle. But there's also a guy there that I forgot about. So, look at me. Speaking of which, dexterity and a little bit of strength is never a bad thing. Just a couple points in them, no matter what the build is. Being able to use more versatile weapons is just is just beautiful. I remember that just from when I did like sorcerer point through. Alright. Let's get this go on the road. I Die. Oh come on! And dog. Oh. Fucking ass! I had a whole Estus flask use that I didn't even get to. Alright, give it one more try to go down there. This, okay, so this game is already harder. I can say that as a matter of fact. The pacing on the enemies, even though it seems like such a slight thing that's like, oh, they moved faster. Like, you know, I've, I've, I've played Bloodborne and stuff, but no, like, fucking, it, like, Bloodborne forced you to be aggressive. And this game is, like, less about being aggressive and more about playing smart. Because in Bloodborne, even if you're taking damage, if you hit faster than they could, you'd get your health back. So it was like, oh, hey, it's all good. Like, like nothing, nothing wrong. Oh, shit. I... He wasn't there yet. Yeah, that guy's down. And he can burn. Burn by fire. Perish in fire. I like their animations. It's like it's hilarious. It's like, oh! Like, like when I like when I throw the fire at them, they're just like, oh! Don't burn me! 
like, I'll just throw it at one of these guys. She's like, she's like, ah! Where did that fire come from that you were holding? You just, you're just standing there coyly like, I don't know, like, maybe you should just like, watch out. Oh, oh damn it. Yeah, so, where is he? Okay, he comes from that way. I just always, like, always kind of standing in this room. Wait, what? What just happened? Oh, I get hit by an arrow before, I believe. Please. Come on. Come on. Just take it. Take it like a man. There you go. Alright, and I have an old... I have an extra Estus use, so that's... That is perfect, so I can kill this guy. Go down. I think I'm going to take care of the dog first. So that uh, I don't have to deal with... I have to go over here. Oh, there's my souls. I might want to grab those. Just in case anything stupid happens. And die. And die. Dog. Dog. Stupid dog. Oh, it's directly underneath me. Stupid dog. That's what I was going to say, though. Comment down below if you miss uh, if you miss Courage the Cowardly Dog, <laughs> like everybody does, because that show was amazing and should always be remembered. All right, all right. Fire! 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 Don't jump at me! Don't you jump at me! And fire. Which I hit that guy, so that is shit. They do a lot more damage to me uh, because I haven't done put as many points of vitality yet. <laughs> that is also something I gotta watch out for, like misjudging. Alright, so I I basically cleared this room. There's one more little guy over here. But not little. Hello. Thank you. Thank you for taking that to the face. Yeah, I got one more shot. Run up here, run. Fuck. All right, so I gotta do this with old axe and shield. But what I'm gonna do is run over here because this is the Estus flash shard. So I get an extra use. All right, so no matter what, I made progress. Even if he should kill me. Which he might. There we are. I mostly did that because I haven't. I, I just realized I haven't tried a heavy swing with this weapon yet. Because the axe is much better for quick attacks, I noticed. But, uh, doggy. Hi, doggy. It didn't die from two hits? I hit it twice! It took three hits to kill that doggy? All right, and and also I just got the cell key, so now I can go to the prison area and open up some of the cells, and I will be doing that in the next part. So thank you so much for watching. If you liked the video, please go down below and let me know. Like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one.